Hello everyone, this is Victor Fitzgerald. I first want to apologize for this video. It's going to be shot in portrait, so I know that's a big no-no, um, but since these are iPhone-related apps, the only real way to take a look at them is in portrait mode here. Um, now, what I'm going to be talking about today is two apps known as the Silent Circle. Uh, if I go ahead and go back to my home screen on my iPhone, you can see that I have both silent text and silent phone loaded onto my phone right now. Now, what the Silent Circle does is provide you with a phone number that allows for end-to-end -end encryption of both text messages and phone calls. They're working on a third service called Dark Mail or Silent Mail, I'm sure, when it comes out. Um, and that service will be an encrypted email client as well. But instead of just encrypting end-to-end -end like they're doing with phones, they are actually changing the protocol so that all of the messages that use the silent mail protocol will be encrypted from end to end and any user of any service can select that if they would like. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back into silent text while I explain a little bit more. When you sign up for your account you'll be asked where you want to base your phone number out of. Um, there are some limited locations right now but I imagine that will expand as more users come on to Silent Circle. What you're going to see is it's very similar to any messaging app. I simply just type in the name of the person that I want to send a message to. Um, I can go ahead and add a phone number if I would like and then send a message. Okay. If I do that and I hit send, it will just go ahead and send using the number that I have in my Silent Circle account. Now, if it, the member happens to be a Silent Circle member, I can use their username to go back and forth and bounce messages back and forth. Uh, the nice thing about the texting application uh, is it works very similar to every other texting application you've seen. Um, you can go ahead and add additional Silent Circle accounts if you would like. You can set password, lock, um, add recovery keys, change the theme, all of that stuff. You also have some minor changes in the default privacy options if you would like. So you can set specific ciphers and encryption. Uh, you can set a burn time limit, which means that things will uh, basically be removed from your phone after a certain amount of hours or days, depending on how you set that. Uh, you can set send receipts on or off as well, um, and those are all just your generic privacy options. Now this works very much just like any texting app would. It uses data when you are on Wi-Fi settings. Um, messaging between Silent Circle members is free and sending to members outside of the Silent Circle will cost you a little bit, um, but it, that is all built into their $12 a month plans. Now that I've gone through kind of silent text and you've had a chance to see that a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and just switch over to silent phone so that you can see what that is like. Um, silent phone is really just a phone. It's got a keypad, some very basic settings. You can add favorites and recent contacts as well as pull in your whole iPhone contact list if you would like. Um, and then it's got your basic keyboard. So I can go ahead and type in uh, any number that I want and it will default to know where I am calling and what I'm doing. Now again this is encrypted so if I were to call a number right now uh, what it would actually do is it would give me a passcode on the screen so that I can go in and see exactly what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and call my Google Voice number just so you can see what that is all about um, and see what the calling side is. So I'm going to go ahead and allow the microphone access. Now you can see I am using a secure access point right now. So if I do a couple of other items, like I can do a conference call if I would like within the app, I can turn on and off the microphone, I can do all kinds of things. If I want to look at how I'm being secured, I can say that, oh great, I have all of these secured messages or methods of contacting people. Now if I contact someone within the Silent Circle, again, I will get a great amount of people who will be able to use more encrypted messages 
and messaging systems. So that is a demo of the Silent Phone and the Silent Text application from Silent Circle. If you have any questions about this review, please feel free to reach out to me at any time. Thanks.